All right, first and foremost, I'm gonna make this quick. This is gonna be sweet to the point. I just wanna basically go over the 14 commandments of skydiving as if this was the Bible, you know, whatever the commandments. These are the main things you need to keep front of mind whenever you're doing a skydive for safety purposes. So here's some solid advice that you should be doing daily. A is gonna be acquiring knowledge and make a continuing effort to increase and improve that knowledge. B is gonna be practice and prepare for both the unexpected and the expected. C is gonna be evaluate the risk factors involved. D is gonna be accurately evaluate personal capabilities and limitations, that's huge. E is gonna be stay alert and aware of your surroundings at all times. F is gonna be keep options open. You always wanna have an exit. And then G is gonna be exercise good judgment. Now let's go ahead and get into the commandments. Once again, my goal with this is to try and make skydiving as safe as possible. I understand I have a little bit of influence and I wanna make sure all the newcomers getting into skydiving understand what they're getting into. And these are once again, the quick, simple, easy, to the point rules that you can keep in front of mind. So number one is gonna be cloud clearance. Do not fly near or through clouds at any given point. This is not okay. Once again, this is number one and I have it number one for a reason cloud clearance, do not fly near or through clouds. Just don't do it. Number two, don't get complacent. Safety is everyone's responsibility. Number three, no alcohol or drugs pre-flight. And also I'm gonna link a section in the USPA sim to all this information. So if you have any questions, you could just read it in the description below. Number four is gonna be to know the jump run direction, which is gonna be the direction the plane is flying in. You also need to know the ground and surface winds before each individual jump. Number five is gonna be know your gear. Gear checks are cool. Don't be afraid to scan other jumpers gear on the ground or in the plane. You may save a life after all. Number six is gonna be be in the loading area at a five minute call to organize the exit order. You should know others pull altitude as well as what they are doing as far as groups and individuals, what everybody's doing on that load. Number seven, know and agree on flight slash landing pattern direction with other jumpers. Number eight, you need to plan the dive and then dive the plan. Number nine, you need to review your emergency procedures before every jump. You should be mentally prepared for malfunctions and always be ready to perform your emergency procedures. Number 10, seat belt and helmet on and buckled during taxi, takeoff, and landing. Number 11, you need to spot before jumping, which is basically looking out of the plane and making sure you're above the airport or you can make it back, and also give appropriate time delay between jumpers and groups. Number 12, you need to pull before your minimum opening altitude. And once again, that's either five grand if you're a tandem or three grand or 2.5 grand, depending on your license. Number 13, we're almost to the end. Number 13 is keep your head on a swivel and look for other canopies during your entire canopy flight. And then number 14 is do not make low turns. If you are low, use flat turns. And as a bonus to you guys, because of course the whole reason we're doing this is to have fun and enjoy. I had to write that down because I don't want you to think like I'm trying to cram all these rules down your throat. Once again, have fun and enjoy. That's the whole reason we're out here. But once again, the main reason we're going over this one through 14 is to make sure that you as an individual are making skydiving safe and you are helping others to promote safety as well.